Greetings, Sagittarius. Welcome to Sun, Moon, and Stars Intuitive. I am Oracle of the Ether, and I hopped on to give you your energy check-in for the month of April. Keep in mind, this could carry out through the rest of the year. For some of you, this has already happened, or you're currently in this situation. This may also apply to someone in your surroundings. This could be a child, an ex-lover, a co-worker, a boss, even a spouse, okay? This will apply to Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Mars, and Venus. Um, I've already done my meditation and called in the appropriate guidance and protection needed for me and for you. I just ask that you keep an open mind. Some of the message may resonate and some of it may not. Take what is for you and leave the rest. If you are sensitive to cuss words, you might not want to tune in to me because I get pretty intense okay so Sagittarius um, today preparing for your reading it's a lot of aggression okay I did tap in and out of your energy today um, I do feel that some of you are possibly messing with or in relationships with a uh, Leos, because your energies are kind of matching. Okay, so let's see what spirit has to say for Sagittarius. Ether, show me what it is. All right, begin to pop in. Hmm. All right, so excuse my nails, you guys. Okay, here we have Giverin. Giverin. Okay, the left hand, this is talking about judgment. Okay, um, very much similar to Leo's reading. So I do believe that um, some of you may have that strongly in your chart or um, you're dealing with. Are you dealing with a Sagittarius? Okay. Um, some of you are going through an extreme anxiety. I feel a lot of fear coming off of this card. Okay. And there we have the angel of verdancy here. Sukafala. Okay. You, you have to give me a minute because sometimes I'll stop. Um, to get the channel lens. Okay, so for some of you, this is surrounding, of course, the root. Okay, so this could be having to do with family members. Um, most definitely, it has to do with uh, self-worth. Under here, we have Angel of Divination. Okay, so some of you are into... Um, magic okay and some of you um do some form of occult studies are you thinking about it some of you may be even under uh attack from some occult studies my guys are telling me because here we have the trumpet has sounded so some of you are either you or someone you're dealing with is under divine judgment okay so i'm gonna go to the car i mean to the book to see what spirit wants me to pinpoint all right for you if you hear my mic going in and out i don't know i have to keep um turning it on because it's one of those wi-fi thing shit whatever all right all right, so this is a talking about the fifth uh, emanation. All right, so this is telling me for a lot of you, this is regarding a change that most likely you are avoiding, okay, or trying to avoid, okay? So, uh, the message here is um, Guvara or Jivara, I don't know, assesses what is just. Helping us overcome our adversaries both without and within. Here's the power to cleave 
hers <laughs> I'm telling you it's not me I don't know it's this word in here hers is the power oh hers okay hers is the power to cleave apart an ununified whole and leave its component pieces it is a trait that commands as much fear as respect because with it comes an inherent violence she does this without in amenity it is an act that must be committed to create balance so yes okay some of you have and this is not to scare anyone but some of you have uh, turned your face away from God and you might be feeling unworthy and that's where this judgment is coming from okay that's where this fear is coming from. It's a humbling feeling. And this is what my guys are trying to. Um, my guys are telling me this is what spirit wants from you. Because you are at the point where you will be able to seek God, universal life force, energy, your higher self, whatever it is that puts you in alignment with the creator life source okay so whatever that it is that you believe in this can't be something that you pretend to believe in this has to be something that puts you in alignment with the creator okay you have to seek counsel that's what i'm getting my guys are being very stern very stern okay I'm not going to take it, but I'm, oh, I'm going to read it. Huh. All right. So, a lot of you may be having, <laughs> you're being talked about, or someone is, um, or you're talking about other people. Um, okay. Um, some of you, now, don't get upset with me. Like I said, this could be someone else's energy. Some of you have been pretending to be fake deep. All right. Um, you might be dealing with people that are, you might have be going to uh, readers for some of you um, that are pretending to be more, um, to have more knowledge than... Um, than they really actually have okay some of you are going to people that are purposely trying to cause tower moments in your life and posing as good Samaritans some of you could be priests um, for this some of you the okay some of you have a controlling spouse whether if it's male or female okay you could be an artist this could be in any type of artistry music painting um, even uh, content creator okay some of you are dealing with someone or is yourself currently going through some uh, inner child um, healing okay healing inner child wounds or needing to okay because this is where it all stems from all right I feel like a lot of you are antsy because you're having to sit and uh, think about some of the things that you, that's taken place throughout this last 10 years because this is a, um, a big like a gumbo pot of all the decisions that we made in the last 10 years so for some of you it might be coming like a windfall okay <sighs> Woo! okay deep 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 Okay, here we have the exorcist, and of course it is the shadow attribute here, okay? This is about facing your own demons, and this is what I was saying about uh, childhood wounding. Some of you were um, injured by your own parents, okay? And we're talking about uh, taboo things that... Um, people don't like to talk about some of you this came from church you were injured by a church member um, 
uh, yeah, and for some of you, it made you turn your faith away, okay? You could also be dealing with the Libra, I have it heavily in your chart, but for if not, it's just telling me that it made it hard for you to trust and love. Yeah, it's the saboteur. A lot of people don't realize, um, and they're just coming into um, awareness that so many could be family members, including parents, okay, grandparents, and those that tend to have a harder life are the ones that have a um, a higher calling, okay? So some of you on the flip side, for those that are high vibrational Sagittarius, if this thing shakes, excuse me, okay? Um, those that are high vibrational um, Sagittarius, this is you, okay? This is you. You are the priest, the exorcismist, <laughs> if you want to say that. You are the one that God has bestowed the ability not to pass judgment, but in a sense to uh, balance the scales, okay? My guys know I love that we're saying, balance the scales. Because we like to think that when we are... Um, people that are in a lower vibrational state that haven't fully wakened up like to think that everyone is the same, especially if they've been hurt by a certain sign. Okay, that's not true. Those lower, vib lower vibrational energies come into our lives to teach us something. And most of the time, if we pass judgment on a person because of their sign, the universe will throw someone else in. That's a sign that we completely in love with and do the same damn thing. OK, never judge book books by their covers. OK, so let's go ahead. Show me what I need to see. Ha! This has been happening. All right. This has been happening for and then we have Taurus at um the top of the deck here so some of you could be dealing with taurus i have heavily in your chart okay for some of you you have a taurus child or a sagittarius child if you're not dealing with the taurus this is about your partnership your business your finances this is where the fear is coming from some of you have resonated with uh i want to say upper echelon um lifestyle and you don't want it to change however that's a part of balancing the scales here what goes up must come down okay how you take it and handle it determines your growth and how spiritually awakened you are so here we have fire coming in again all right you could be my that's my son in the background so if you hear him you know uh, you could you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, another Sagittarius, a Aries, or a Leo. Um, if not, here we have Aquarius. Some of you might be, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Some of you might be twins. Twin flames are divine counterparts. Um, yeah. Okay, so here we have the Mercury. You might be dealing with the Gemini. OK, some of you are wanting to uh, communicate with um, some of you probably want to communicate or if you've had some type of aggress uh, aggressive um, inter interactions with the Scorpio. OK, some of you are dealing with a karmic that is a Scorpio. Oh, yeah. Okay, give me a minute, okay? Some of you want to heal a situation, possibly with a Gemini or Virgo. You might find it hard to communicate at this time. You might be learning new activities here. With Saturn here, some of you, again, is co with the rest of the readings. 
some of you are coming out of karmic cycles this is a 10 year span and some of you are entering karmic cycles and it will be defined by what you choose to do here in this moment in the middle of chaos okay it's about integrity i'm getting strongly all right so we're gonna break it down kind of shorten my readings up a little bit i have pre-shuffled the decks and cleansed them hey you know i do them on camera because i know people are kind of iffy some of us are just learning to trust our intuition, and that's fine. I, I do feel uh, some of you are very religious and you are praying for mercy on the planet. Okay, yeah. Some of you are seeking... Um, Waiting for a judgment, probably uh, from a lawsuit, um, possibly with your job. You feel like you invested a lot of time into this situation. It could be a partnership, a business, whatever this was. Um, you felt like your hands were tied. You could possibly be dealing with a tour, um, a Taurus, or this could have um, something to do with the Taurus. Um, there was a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of blood, sweat and tears put into whatever this uh, venture was, whether if it was a job, a career, a relationship. Um, some of you do feel regret. Um, you feel like you wasted too much time in this partnership. Um, you feel like you lost a lot of money. Seven of Pentacles. All right. Here we go. You showing up in your reading. All right. So, Saggy. <laughs> Some of you are drinking a lot. Be mindful of that right now. This is not the time where you want to have your immune system low. Okay. A lot of drinking. My son is so loud. <laughs> but he's having fun, so don't mind him. Okay. Um, I do feel like this is definitely a partnership. Um, you guys might have brought out the worst in each other. Um For some of you, I do feel like whatever job you were into, it was um, it, it was not bringing out the best of you. You probably had co-workers that you would go out and drink a lot with. And when you would go out with these people, um, you, you would bring negative energy. Now, this is either you or the person you're dealing with. This, you know, this is a mixture of, of both. I do feel a lot of different energies, like cross watcher energy, as well as Sagittarius. Okay. I feel like um, you were just not, you, you weren't fostering um, high vibrational relationships. Okay. I'm going to put it that way. All right. So, let's go. Yeah, some of you um, made a judgment to become single, I, I do, uh, and try to build up um, your finances, okay? You may have uh, went to, went back to, for some of you, you went back to a previous partner, Someone that you may have invested a lot of time with. You guys may have had a lot of fun. This was a soulmate. If you are a feminine woman, uh, you, you know, this could resonate with you. You could be watching this for a Sagittarius male. 
okay? So, um, someone might be making a judgment call or did in the past to end a situation. Mm -hmm. And then some of you decided, because we have the temperance card here, some of you are waiting are waiting you're getting your finances together and you're waiting to make an offer okay this could be in business or personal why is Sagittarius here okay mm. okay Sagittarius you could also be dealing with an Aquarius I feel like some of you guys have been in um, um, like a wish state, um, like an um, illusion, um, well, more like... Um, be, be bewilderment or imagining um, bringing balance to a situation that you may have felt became off balance. Mm -hmm. <sighs> For some of you, this is about debt. All right. For some of you, this is about debt. You're worried about, <laughs> yeah, here we have, um, this is Dark Knight of the Soul energy. So you can definitely be resonating with Leo. Oh, yeah. With uh, Leo's reading. All right. Um, I'm being called to clarify the Six of Pentacles with my, what is this? Oh, Isle of Time Wellness cards. Okay. Clarify Six of Pentacles. Team awesome. Okay. Yeah. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces or a Cancer Scorpio and even a Libra. Okay. Um, you want to bring balance to a situation that you feel um, has been off balance. You feel like um, some of you feel like you... You were on the same page, but it was just an illusion. Okay, some of you, it has something to do with um, children. Okay, uh, maybe a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio child. Um, others, you just want to manifest a connection where you are on the same page. And, you know, and that's where you are focused right now. I really truly believe, especially if you're a single Sagittarius, you're imagining imagining a balanced uh, situation. Some of you might be preparing for a child, okay, or you're just waiting. You know, I do feel like some of you may be waiting for your finances um, or maybe a job or something. It's like a anticipating. You feel like, yeah, okay. Um, You, for some of you, where you were um, giving off an uh, illusion and you were possibly dealing with two people and you may have gotten someone pregnant, someone feels left out or you ice somebody out. Are you, um, yeah. Yeah, you ice someone out. Yeah, you ice someone out and you decided to go and, you know, maybe do a little partying at the club or, you know, this may have been uh, where you found this succubus, incubus, exorcist energy right here. I don't know. Um, you know, you might, some of you may be under the illusion that you're in a balanced situation. Some of you, you know, I, I hate to say it, but some of you might not know who your child's father is or 
um, um, yeah. If you are the father, you might have some questions about paternity. Why is exorcist here? Too many cards. No, let me go ahead. Let me, let me, I'm going to see what the moon is, is talking about, okay? Why is the moon card here for Sagittarius? <laughs> yeah, the nine of pentacles. Someone is hiding um, the fact that they are single. Um, if someone is hiding the fact that they want a, a relationship, I feel like. Mm -hmm. There's uh, this person is probably not communicating this time with you. With the strength card here, I feel like this person is holding back um, communication. Yeah, they're holding back communication. Um, possibly because they may have left you out in the cold. Um, if you were married, you probably, um, they, have, they had a child out of wedlock. And someone got left out in the cold, either the child's mother or the wife. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't even see the reckless card up under here. Definitely. Definitely. Someone was out partying too much, uh, living it up too much and possibly got someone pregnant or you got pregnant. Why is exorcist here? Someone is getting iced out. Someone may be getting treated um, um, like kind of like a narcissistic kind of they did you wrong, but want to act like you you did it like you like with something wrong with you type of that's how I'm getting it. I'm sorry if it's not I'm not explaining it right. OK, so some of you want to resurrect your finances straight up. <laughs> some of you are um, occultists you may practice black magic um, you're trying to hone in on your skills oh yeah <laughs> okay this is so fucking out of line and I don't even want to put someone has been trying to <laughs> Manifest some ill ill will on you or you on someone else. Okay, they're actively doing this. <laughs> Could be for you, for some of you, your child's mother. Um, for some of you, this could be a mother, like your mother. You could be dealing with a. You could have a narcissistic parent, a mother specifically. Um. It could be a Taurus, but doesn't have to be. We have Scorpio here, and we have Aquarius as well. Um, some of you are trying to protect your finances from your child's mother. It's really, really, really weird. Okay, you, you, so there is a masculine energy that's going to see this reading that really believes that their child's mother is evil. Uh huh, and is probably and and. This person feels like um, this woman is very de deceitful, um, juggling, possibly uh, cheating with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, or you could be. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? many cards eight of pentacles <laughs> wow okay 
somebody has been fucked up with black magic, mind, body, and soul. Okay? Mind, body, and soul. And like I said, for a lot of you, this deception comes from within your home, from your own relatives. But we have the wheel of fortune here. <laughs> Somebody's getting cut off. Someone has been doing their due diligence. Uh-huh. And they found something. Oh, yes, they found it. Uh, and they're waiting. <laughs> I love it when people get caught in their own bullshit. Here we have a hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. A Virgo could have something to do with this. Okay. <laughs> you could be a Virgo and just have Sagittarius in your chart. <laughs> the whole thing about it is someone that left you for someone else. Okay, my son came in, so sorry about that. Someone that have um, left uh, left you for another person. If this is resonating with you, um, you may have been off healing yourself, going within, trying to learn your spiritual lessons, and this person wants to come back. Okay, of course, they're running from their karma. Um, but on the way back to you, they're going to get their self caught up in some healing. Spirit is not going to let this person bamboozle you. Okay. All right. So you go ahead and you continue healing. All right. All right. Cool with whatever, huh? Yeah, some of you are dealing with somebody that's just like, yeah. Oh yeah, what what you want, baby? You want so you want you want what you want to eat tonight? Oh, oh, okay. And probably putting shit in your damn food. You see this? Puppet master. Yeah. A lot of people tend to think when people's smiling faces tell lies. Okay? Smiling faces tell lies. Why is the five of swords? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness are you serious <laughs> for some of you this is a karmic this person have not told you that they love you that's why they're so deceptive they're abusive they know that you're healing right that you, they know that you're going within and doing all that spiritual magical shit, right? You're searching for guidance. You may be off somewhere else. <laughs> you ain't even thinking. I ain't think about you. All right. But here this person is pulling on your energy to get you back trapped up in this shit. Right. To, to knock your fortune out. To knock your fortune out, to not take away your peace, spying on you, have a big ass fucking sword. You know why? Because this person will cut your fucking ass with their words. Some of you, <laughs> wicked, harmful, dangerous, a lie, a cheat, beware. All right? Beware. That's why we have all this priest and Messiah and all of this. Some of you are really sleeping with the devil. Okay. I don't know if this is going to be confirmation for you or what. But, oh, <laughs> you see how the Queen of Wands won the stake? Hey, Sagi. How you doing, Queen of Wands? Hmm? Queen of Wands won the stake. Somebody pregnant. Mm -hmm. Somebody pregnant. All right, let's see. Let me see if I can get. Uh... <laughs> it's interesting. My guys want me to pick from this deck with this reading. It should be interesting what comes out <laughs> with this reading. No, you know what? Before I go up out of here, I want to know. 
more about this five of swords energy what's popping with this five of five of swords energy mm -hmm. five of swords? who is this five of swords character is you the five of swords Saji? i hope you're not the five of swords because if you the five of swords you about to be at the ass end of karma and it's gonna hit your ass Ooh, baby the energy that i feel right now if i were you and this is resonating and, and, and you're the low vibrational Sagittarius, I'll be trying to get my shit together right now. All right. Um, why is the five of swords here? Come on, spirit. <laughs> I'm so glad I pulled the kipper. I'm so glad because this just... This confirms what I said. Okay, this deceptive person here that was very abusive, more than likely they were a cheater. It's not, it hasn't came out. Okay, you, somebody went to court. Definitely there was a divorce. Okay, adjudication and courtroom. All right, official person. There was a divorce here and someone went back to someone else. Okay, you got a soulmate, karmic, I don't know. And when they went back to this person, it was nothing but hardship and bullshit. Hardship and bullshit, period. Okay, so I hope that. <laughs> and everybody know, God damn it. <laughs> Almost everybody know. man and not only do everybody know but now they have a baby and some of you might not know this yet <laughs> but when you do find out it's coming to an end okay the ultimate betrayal for some of you you feel like that was the straw that broke the camel's back we're gonna get some manifesting magic cards and i'm gonna Get up out of here. If this reading resonated with you, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and share. <laughs> fairy magic. Respectfully work with the fairies and elements to achieve your goals. For those that don't believe in the fairies and the elements, this is saying connect with God, higher source, to achieve your goals. Don't result to the dark stuff because you're biting off more than you can chew okay happy love a joyful stable partnership and good friends this is what the higher vibrational sagittarius's are manifesting healing true healing of the mind body true healing of the mind body and soul go ahead go ahead all right safe and happy travel Sagittarius you'll be back and able to do what you do best okay many of you are protected from harm when you journey just know that I hope you enjoyed this reading and I'll talk to y'all later